Hello and welcome to the first episode of our little show. Uh, today we're doing an episode on a servo motor control that we got really, really cheap, I suppose. It was quite cheap. Yeah, yeah, it was very cheap. I just can't help but dance to that. <laughs> right, so uh, servos come in different sizes, I suppose. Yeah, I mean I've got um, I've got HS four seven five HB, which is Nice and so Little? Yeah. No, 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 no. That is a little servo. Yeah. Well, this one does um, 200 degrees. That's 200 movement. degrees, yeah. This um, one does 40 degrees. At a later stage, we will show you how to open these up and turn them to a constant turn. We will, but that will not be in this video, yeah, unfortunately. We'll, no, we'll um, do another one, show big lads to it. For the program, you have to work out how many, was it microseconds, was it? Yeah, it's something. Microseconds. Like micro milliseconds of um, rotation, which each one has a different one. So each motor has a different speed it goes at. Which is why, if you look at this one, you'll see that it's like, I don't know if you can see that, but it's 150 to 545 milliseconds. Well, this is 120 moving. to 580. And you know, the fact that this goes on. Yeah. Out. As this one only goes 40 degrees and that one goes 200. You can see it doesn't really matter the size when it comes to that. So, um, yeah, they're finished. Now, yeah, should we show the one we've got up and running ready for them? Well, yeah, they should be bring that up to the larger screen. I've probably seen our camera dips out whenever we change over, but that's it. There we go. If you look, you can actually clearly see down here. You see the little arrow bits of the Venus on them moving yeah, you independently of each other. Yeah, you don't normally have arrows, but uh, uh, what have we got down there? We have got the like HS. Oh, we've got one like I've got. Yeah, I've got the 200. And we have the HS 422, which is 180 degree. All right. Um, so yeah, the code's pretty simple. We did find a few issues with the code. Yeah, which we cleaned up. Which we have cleaned up. Move the old wire, We've uh, basically we modified their resisting code from the library because their example wasn't done very well. They had what was it again? It was a uh, oh, there was, some, there was a, a weird bit call to a yield. function that yield, yield doesn't exist. They had a yield function which doesn't exist. We don't know if it's because the Arduino software has been updated since then and they've taken that out. And don't shoot us if we pronounce Arduino wrong. That's how we like pronounce it. We pronounce Arduino. You might pronounce like Arduino or something, but yeah. um, but anyway, little quick. What we've got here, we've got the servo board here, which is um, 16 servos. 16 on. channel, yeah. Um, this is I squared C controlled. Um, you can daisy chain it. Yeah. I've forgotten how many it went up to. I've oh, forgotten how many it goes up to. But you can put quite a few together. And, you know, we've got my Arduino Mega here. Mega 1280, yeah. Um, running through it now, running it off this power, um, external power supply for the servos because they do draw quite a lot um, and I'm, I'm just using my good old trusty 16,000 milliamp hour yep. block which is really good and it works really well. Um, we've also got here, we've got an Uno revision for an Uno of, of type, well, it's, a D, it's a DC C Duino it's Uno. We do like our clones here, they're cheaper. <laughs> yeah, we've also got um, now what this, this is, is a Pro Mini, snack, isn't it? Yeah, Pro Snap Pro Mini, um, which you'll see we've got a couple of extra wires sold onto it, which we do mention in our quick tips, which are down at the bottom at the moment. Yeah. Um, they are not in line where you can use them normally. With pins, no, because what they've done is they've actually offset them. You could probably put a socket on there. If you put it all to socket on with on the pins, you would be able to use it, but we've you made this one so it works with a breadboard. Yeah, but you wouldn't need these breadboard that they're actually out of line. Yeah, you know, you'd have to put sockets put on them. Or, put or wires. Or pins coming up. Yeah. So you can plug a socket on. Yeah. So, but anyway, um, simple program if you'd like to bring the program up. Yeah. Can, um, there goes our there. camera for a minute again. Yeah. Come back That's in a couple of seconds. Well, so you can see from the, the code, it's not exactly very long, is it, really? It's I not mean, very long, though. I, I do have a print out. I mean, it's sideways on. I mean, that's so you've yeah. on, that's an A five, A five, yeah, A five. When it's folded to that, that's not really that much. So 
Should we go into uh, explain the code a little bit so people yeah. know what's going so on? So we start with the top two lines here. Yeah. These are nicely include lines. We've got the wire. Wire H. Now that wire is the H, yes. I squared C so library. It's a built-in library into Arduino because the Arduino does use I squared C. Um, a little bit more stuff about that in a bit. Yep. Uh, it also has the Adafruit one, because this is an Adafruit board we're using. I can't remember the exact name for it, the exact name for it's like 20 billion words. Yeah, it was out of... It's like 16, yeah. 16 bits PWM servo. Yeah, motor controller board. With I2C support, something, something, something. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I squared C is, or well, I2C is, is essentially I squared, I squared C. I squared C, yeah. Um, it's the thing we want to we want to play with a lot, isn't it? We, we do. Uh, go with a few more things, um, which comes in to your other idea of um, adding things together, adding things together from different shows that are going to yeah. intermingle. So this controller board may end up as a pogo stick, controlling <laughs> an electronic pogo stick, <laughs> whatever we come up with. Yeah. So uh, basically, in the show, just quick, as you mentioned it. Uh, we're going to be showing you how to interface with different boards, like we're doing at the moment, and then we're going to do what? Well, the first one, we're going to do two of them, then the third video we post up, I mean, we don't know when they're going to be, we don't know when they're going to get modules, so... Yeah, and um, unfortunately, because we buy the cheap modules, we generally get them from China. Guang Zhong, Ching Chang Ching Guang 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 Ching Chang Ching Hong Kong. Kong. Yes. Yeah, it's one of them weird, long name places you can never pronounce. No. But they do sometimes take quite some time. So Unless you're wet. Yeah, but I yeah. Don't have a name, yeah, but yeah, uh, you won't go there. No. Anyway, moving on to the next. Moving on to the next image. This is uh, where we. This space is a little bit we've got. Uh, make sure that the board you're trying to communicate with is in fact their motor driver board. If you try sending pulses into a board which isn't meant for pulse modulation, it's going to go a little bit wrong. Yeah. Um, obviously, this one is the. ESP8266. Well, at least that's the rolls off the top. The rolls, yes. At least that's a chip on it. Yeah, that's a chip on it. But yeah, uh, every third video, well, the third video we do will be adding the first and second modules together, and then from then on it'll be module put together, module put together. Yeah. Um, and we will be eventually we'll be doing some live casts as well. Yeah. So that's we're, be quite good. we're planning on doing that for our. Uh, putting together ones they're going to be a bit longer yeah and um, we're also putting a live twitter feed on so that would actually take over the tips right? that would take over the tips yep uh we'll have a live twitter feed on so you tweet using the hashtag even though it's a fucking number sign if you uh tweet using the hashtag um was it e m i don't know you said that oh, i can't remember oh em shock show that's it EM Shock Show, which will be on during our live streams, you'll be able to communicate with us, ask us questions. And you'll also come up correct. Yes, it will come up as we're doing it, as you will see when we finally do a live stream. So moving on to the next bit of code is this nil section down here, which is where we begin the pulse modulation. And yeah, we also frequency. we set the frequency to 60 hertz. Yeah. That's about it for that, but it's just a nice little bit. It's just if you haven't seen that before, you might. Well, I think this next use. one is the worst one, isn't it? Yeah, this next one's a nice big block. Yeah, this is where the you're setting it as a double um, instead of a standard eight bit, double it six. Double it sixteen bit. Yep. Yeah. Um, also, you're setting it because obviously we set it in milliseconds, milliseconds whatever it is, nano, whatever. whatever. Yeah, so there's a bit of a calculations here to get the right value. Get the right value, yeah. Um, if you're going to do this yourself on the run it, um, just put that bit of code in as it is. Put that bit of code in as it is and it will um, work. Perhaps we could do another one of showing people exactly how we come across the figures for each of the... Yep, we could. This is a little a tip one we can do. Yeah. Which shows people how we come up with the value. Because, um, all of our servos. Well, well, well a lot of them are saying, like this one I've picked, I've picked up, this one's got 12580, I don't know if you yeah. what that is, but that's um, later on comes into our figure. Yeah. And we move on. We could probably uh, create a little program to show them that. So this is our final image of the day. 
yeah so this one if you look on here where we've got there's actually um you've got 570 as a maximum set it for yeah but actually one of our turns out to 580 yeah, and this that this is actually an exact same as one down there it goes up 580 but the other one doesn't and it goes up 570 or something so yeah you we stopped it early but we'll show you how to get these figures yeah the later, um, later video if you look in the code and in this code block says, we've suggested uh if you look at there's a bit we have PWM set I. Now that I is addressing which port you plug your uh, so which socket you plug your servo in. So if you now look just zero down index. here, yeah, there's zero index, so it goes from zero to fifteen. Uh, so zero and one here, which is why we've got running from zero to one, then one to zero to move them up and down. Um, nothing else really. De delay is just to slow it down. Delay, they yeah. do jump quite quick. They do jump quite quick and it can come be a mayhem if you don't uh, slow it down. Yeah, I mean it's just a very simple, very, very simple little loop. Yeah. It just makes it go all the way up and all the way down. Yes. So on each. Should we show them how and to put it together? But this can go to different, different boards. Yes. As I said, we do have other boards here. We so can have other boards. Unplug this, and I'm afraid you lose your lovely sound. So if we just switch over that little camera, I'll unplug all the. It'll just take a second for the uh, cam to be initialised. Yeah, and whilst doing that, I shall nick the mega. Oh. The mega, and I shall chuck it back in the box. And we do have other things coming up. We do have a lot of other things uh, coming up. Other things coming up whilst we're there, so it's quite there. But we've got. It's nice little cheap Chinese Bong Zhong knockoff. Yeah. Ethernet shield, which we should be given a go. Um, so we, got, we do, we're lucky, we've got a couple of things. We've got Navant, but not many. Um, and we got this, I believe it was a two line by 16 character. Two 16, yeah. I believe this play, which we're going to see if we can get that linked up at a later stage, which would be quite nice. Uh, last idea, we were talking about power packs. I mean, if you don't have a power pack, you can use. Well, if ours didn't have one, then why is desoldered? If I just hold this up over here, you could use a nine volt clip on. I mean, yeah. we're running this from five volts. Yeah, runs about what? About four milliamps of USB. I don't know. What Something like using, that. This is the next one we're going to go to. This is. Uh, um, I'm going to see if I can get this to go. This is going to be fatal, I'm afraid. I might have to see the name of it there. There you go. There you go. So that's, yeah, put it out there as you, as you will. I don't care. Um, actually, I think this uses the same lead this time, doesn't it? Feel right yeah. There. Now, with this, the um, leads are all going to be in different places. Another thing to look at is you will see the SCL and SDA are not written near any pin numbers, but we have found oh, out ourselves. They are. Are Oh, are they? Yeah, well, they're up here. Yeah, and they're actually linked so to A three A four. Let's see what it's up there. Now they are on your. Just see them there. Unfortunately, the autofocus is is rubbish. A little bit rubbish. Yeah, we but are. Yeah, so on them pins, you can see up the top there. There's a, the top left pins, top two. Um, but they're also they're a linked to A4, four A5. A5 not A3 A4 like I said a minute ago yeah. Um, but yeah basically for some reason yeah I don't know why they're linked up right what I do need to do is just got to find out which is the SCL so yeah you won't write SCL and SDA in your code or your device is A4 A5 well, actually I think they have done something about that which we are going to look into. We will be looking into that, yes. Um, I believe there's done a way that we can do it, so we might better use uh, on yeah, use universal board. universal board later on. So at the moment, you won't be able to see on the screen because we're not streaming this screen. Purely due to the fact that we tried that last time we tried to record, and it went a little bit wrong, didn't it? Yeah, five on ground. ground. Yeah, even though you're supplying the board with 5 volts, that is purely to power the board. That, if you see, I don't know if it shows up very well on there. It's, yeah, you can see a green light just. Yeah. The green light just over here. It literally that's just power, but that's powers. not, doing it? This, um, see, I can see how the moment this is off. So, um, when Dean finishes programming, yeah. 
Now one thing you do want to make sure you do with this is you will want to make sure you switch over to Uno rather than Mega because each board is actually laid out differently in terms of the electronics on the board. Yeah. Um, and all I would say is this also powers off and it's got nothing new, so it's also powered off and so right, they, it, they won't program. actually work until, until I turn this on. And, and there, you there you go, that is this board running them two. Um, so you can, they're not brilliant on the display, I must admit. Um, I can see bring these over a bit. There you go, I can see it moving there. Do we have the other lead? Um, I have Mini. no idea. I don't think we moment. do, but. I mean, this lead is this uh, board here, the PostNav Pro Mini. You would use just the same as Nuno, actually, is actually wired up the same as Nuno, and you program it as such. The only thing you have to remember is you have your SDA and SDL over here. Uh, we don't have a lead on us, unfortunately, but to show you, we did do that one little oversight. Well, you can just run off and show us through as a live show. Yeah, and actually, I will run off whilst we're recording because. The, um, the other one, well this one's finished with isn't it? It's, yeah, it's we don't do works. any camera trickery on this show. Now if you just excuse me whilst I disappear behind this hidden door. It's not so hidden, I can see it. So whilst Dean goes and grabs the lead if you want to bring it up, I shall put this little board away. Um, so the, the code lines, when you looked at the code earlier, um, to do this change, all you're going to have to do is where it says wire.pins wire on the original bit of code, we said 2021. I don't know if I can get that up there, you can see it. There you go. You just change them to lines to say A4, 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 A5. A5. In that, it's awesome. He's back. I'm back with the lead we needed, which is this one. It's a A to mini B lead. Whereas this was an A to B. Which is a lot longer than our last lead being like our last day was like yeah. one for nothing. But it, it did its purpose. It does it did its purpose, yes, I would agree with that. Now all we've got to do is quickly while this one out. Won't take long. Although we show sure you guys how this works. Do you know which one's Yeah, SDA is the one with the white on there. Right. Never plug your board in while before you plug your leads in. Yeah. What we should say to people, if we do it ourselves, leave it plugged in that's because he's a trained professional. Well, what I was going to say was, I can put this over to... Right, that one we don't need. Nope. And, and green. That one we don't need. They're the ones that go for these other two. Right, you said SDA was the... the white tape. Which was... I believe. And the non-white tape, white wire. Unfortunately, we did the sort of same colour wires on there. We yeah. Really, mine's like really used different colours. So that's now in there, right? Just need the five volt and ground. And ground, which well, I don't know where that is. Unfortunately, on the Pro Mini board, it is quite hard to find. I believe they're over right this side. Do you want to get plugged in? Yeah, just give me a second. I'm just going to have to get in way of the our face cam for a minute. So it turns into the head cam. Does both hands turn to head cam, don't they? No, you've actually vanished from the other one. I'm on my own. Yeah. VCC's there. It's horrible to see, unfortunately. To so VCC in ground. Um, we will, if we can, because um, we've got our own comments up. Yeah. Um, we will see if we can get some real close up shots of the wiring and put them up under the comments for everyone to have a look at. I think that's only fair, isn't it? It is fair, yes. Right. Where's my ground now? I think there are opposite sides in this one. Yes, yeah, it's, it it's absolutely horrible doing it. I mean, I mean, it's not ideal to do this live. To it honest. is ideal to do this live, but it does make it a little easier so people can see the. But what I should do is this would now be turned it. off. I should let Dean plug it in a program out before I turn the actual. Through. Although this is actually isolated from surges and everything surges else, that should be. This is surge detected. Yeah. Now, like I said earlier, you upload it as if that was an Uno. It might be a Pro Mini, but we do still programs it. But as I said, the code is exactly the same except for that line that says wire dot pins. 
Yeah. Which um, comes A4, which is A4, A5. A4, A5. Just physically give the actual name of the pins. Right, that should be done. Right, so this works. There you go. These should now start to spin, and look, it's working on a photo snap. Part of a photo snap, sorry. Part of a photo snap, one minute. We yeah. haven't got the other bits here. Um, I can't remember if she had uh, yeah. a switch and RGB LED, RGB LED and a buzzer, which was really annoying because you could never turn it off. So we've got that. I mean, we just go about make a mini thing up if we can give it a go. But you can see that's running two. That is running two. Um, with this power supply, we could easily run 16 if we wanted. Yes. Um, easily. Um, and even though we're doing these individually, you can. This will actually run both at the same time. Yeah. The only reason done it individually is just show you have an element of control over them. Yeah. It's not all on, all off. Uh, so we're going to have to do an extensive bit on um, Arduino programming. Later. We will. Yeah. So people get more. Well, switch back. Well, thank you. Back to the middle. So uh, I felt a bit squashed in that. I box. did. It felt a bit small. What's that? <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling normal size here. Yeah. Which is my usual big cell. So uh, yeah, the first time we had to record it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the first time we recorded this, we did actually try filming the screen of this as well. Yeah. And everyone has on mind what we our sound recorded. Uh, we have no this the video from the laptop disappeared. We also had the camera stop recording twenty yes. minutes before the end and didn't tell us. Um, so in the end we started doing this way, it's a bit easier for us to explain I mean, it. Um, what we're actually using, we're using some, um, you can see when this is on, it's a light. Um, we're using a bit of software, yep. e, e e -pop -pop cam, cam or by Canoni, they're uh, I think they're actually a Chinese company. Yeah, we're using a free one at the moment. We are using a free one, we are going to upgrade to the full one, because well, we, we, want we, we wanted to see how it works. And, Okay, there's a little bit where the camera goes off, but it works pretty well. We also want to say we're not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. No. And if we um, thought. I'm really clever here, I can, I can rock my own camera. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, if. Uh, to, and if we're perfectly honest, if we had bombs with it, we wouldn't be saying that it was a good piece of software. No, no, I mean, we will be honest. I mean, we're using um, open broadcast. We're using OBS, yeah. OBS, which is. Um, I actually personally I like it. I do like it. It's, it's very very good software. It's and actually, whilst you're watching this, whilst we were filming this, we were also watching the video at the same time. Yeah, because we kept it up on the monitors, so we can keep my um, at a flip the image. So I look because I know I'm sitting on things left. Um, but then we say, if you were to look over here, it wouldn't work. Yeah, properly. sort of things didn't work, so we switched it off. Touch me in the head. Okay. Um, do that. I think the last thing we would like to say for we uh, say our farewells is, even though we have this laptop between us just here, yeah. which is, to be honest, that's only programming. It's annoying. Know. Yeah, it's only the other thing we have no scripts at all. What? No, no, we don't use scripts. I mean, actually, you can prove that. I mean, if you look around, that, you can get some of that on there. There you go. You can see that. So, so now, anyone that knows any about Arduino, I know that you can see the colours are green. Yeah. Green and blue. Some button is only Arduino, that's all we have. And the piece of paper piece was of paper was actually the just the code. The code, which we will post up. We will be posting that up. Um, and we put a special highlight in there so people know that's the line that changes. Oh. Um, yeah. You can put it in like a double line if you yeah. comment. Every link to this ev the link to We'll give you a link to the Arduino. software. We yeah, so the software we use will be on there. The link to Adafruit for their Board there. Yeah, I can't remember how much that was. I'll have to find that. But we will have to put that in. It down wasn't. There, yeah. It really wasn't a lot. I mean, we we're funding this ourselves. We are. We're not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. Um, not that we don't want to be because nobody will. Nobody sponsor will sponsor us. us. No, we're because we we're, we're nobodies and we're nobodies anyway. But um, ignoring that. Yeah. Um, so we're not sponsored. Maybe we will tell people. We'll be honest. About it. We wouldn't do all this stuff with. Oh, this is a great product, and actually, we think yeah, no, is. If, uh, if I don't like it, well, I'm going to warn everyone now. Yeah. yeah. If you send us a product to test and it is rubbish, we will say. We will say it's rubbish. Uh, we are looking for suggestions into modules as well because yeah. in our show, we're not going to be. We're going to pick modules ourselves, obviously, but we're not 
draw like an aim in mind, we're going to go, that looks good, we're going to get that, that's just how it's going to work. If you have modules you found where you're like, oh this is really good, or maybe you've bought yourself a module and you don't know how to use it. If you just send us, we don't, don't send us the items, because it's yours, unless you want to, and just tell us, oh I've got this one, how do you use it? We'll show you how to use it, we'll put it into our own product, whatever the hell that's going to be. Yeah. I am a little bit uh, worried about that with the well, progress stick. No idea. Yeah, but no, I mean, one of the things we know we've got coming up at some point is this nice little camera. Nice little board. camera, yeah. Um, as soon as that arrives. Really cheap. We have to get the, is it the RG Cam? RG Cam or something, yeah. It's just a little board which yeah, acts as an interface. We can then use this and use it to pan and tilt. Yeah, I mean, we have a lot of stuff coming up. And, and that could also, I'll tell you what, the pan and tilt will work for that. Yeah. Yeah, because then we can show people how to use, and we can actually put the laptop over here, so you can see the keyboard. Yeah. Um, and then have the keys for up, down, left, and right on the camera, and then we can tilt it all live on. Yeah. The program. So, uh, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. From so it's uh, goodbye from him. And it's goodbye from him. And we'll see you whenever next time, I think. Yeah.